welcome back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. I'm not going to do my whole usual Twitch intro here because I want to point something out to you. Look at how many raincoats you see right here. And to those of you who don't know and or don't play this game, when a person is wearing that color coat, we call them a raincoat. And basically, it's a sign that they just started the game. And I mean just. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel right here, do that. Because that's where I'm going to upload my stream once it is done. Okay? Cool. Now back to the gameplay here. Just because... Just because... You see all these raincoats, right? I'm gonna warn you. Don't expect the brightest, the the brightest of plays. You feel me? And right there, I'm showing you where the spawn points are. I think. I mean, I've been around a buck a few times, but depending on if he spawn at point A or spawn at point B, that determines where somebody else is going to spawn. And hell, you might spawn at spawn A point five, which is in between spawn A and B. Yeah, that happens, and it kind of just ruins the whole mix. But anyways, like I said, don't expect the brightest of plays from these players. It's it's almost unfair, the experience gap between someone like me and someone who just downloaded the game last night. And don't get me wrong, there are hella fied more experienced players tonight than me. The number is staggering. Because I've, I've gotten killed too. Think about it. My survival rate is 69.4 right now. I've died a lot. Over my 3,000 or so games that the game said I played. Even though I know I played about maybe down. I don't know like five, six thousand Because stats were in the game. Anyways. Well stats were introduced to the game. They weren't there from day one. You feel me? So my stats could be lower. But anyways. I'm going to use this comm station. And you notice how I slowed down before I approached it? Oh shit, shots. Well, let's see what I can do about that. I slowed down because even though it said comm station's activated, it could be right there in front of me. The comm station, I mean, that was activated. I don't know for sure. Also, I decided to take out the uh, good old L86A1. AKA the 22 version of the AUR H well 2022 version of the AUR H bar T because I think I haven't played with it on a while and I wanted to bring y'all some gameplay with it. It's a freaking fantastic weapon in my opinion. I'm gonna come down here and investigate what the hell went on. And it seems like number one, it died down. And number two, I don't hear anything, which is a opposite way of saying, you know, point one. But I'm going to slow down here. I'm going to answer this phone.
I will be very, very surprised if any of my experienced players out here that watch my videos learn anything from this video. I'll be very surprised. Because I want to say this video is mostly geared toward a new player. You see, when you get shot at, don't, don't, I'm about to say don't, do not believe the white directional indicator on your screen. Try to look for a tracer round instead. Try to. Try to look from where the bullets are coming from. If you, if you get, uh, spooked like how this guy did. You seen he took cover behind a taxi when I was behind him with his back facing toward me. Yeah. So, you know, not necessarily a pro tip, but more like this is how you play the game kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? So, also, I should point this out as well. Just because it has a white dot on it doesn't mean you are obligated to hold X or hold square for my PlayStation players. If it's a phone, somebody's going to come and try to find you. And you're going to have to deal with it. Even though you don't know what a phone is right now because you just downloaded a game damn last night. But hey, this is why this video is here to show you that, you know, maybe you shouldn't do what you think is cool like this. You seen number one? Okay, pause. I take that back. Number one, I wall banged that guy for about maybe about eight, nine damn bullets, and he still stayed in the same spot. If you get shot at through a wall, you might want to move. You you might want to move. No, the uh, freaking number two. Number two. Just because you're hiding. It, because you're getting shot at doesn't mean you have to stay in that one spot he could have ran up the stairs made it harder for me to get him he could have ran outside and scared me with his vz58 but he stayed in one spot because fear and you seen how when he came outside and he didn't come outside when he rounded that corner of the doorway he just sprayed like hell hoping to hit something and then he clicked because he didn't have any ammunition left in his vz58 Try not to fire every bullet that you have. Just reload. Just reload. I'm not done here though. Now, before you all say anything, I'm going to say it for you. Yes, homeboy was leaving me in the dust. I have never seen 
a raincoat run so damn fast in my entire time of playing this game. And before you say, he must not have had anything on him. Well, look at his box. Yeah, that shit crazy, ain't it? Like, he had all this stuff on him, and yet he was putting seconds on me. Like, he was taking me to Gepplebees. This shit wild. But, anyways, I'm gonna take the AUR A1, because why the hell not? And I'm gonna run back for the Sarah Draw. So, here's the thing that most players don't realize. It's not the person that kills you. It's the bullet. Because you see, even though he was damn light years ahead of me, I could still kill him because bullets have velocity. Not knives, bullets. So even if he got toward an exit, all I had to do was still shoot at him and lead my target by like 0.2 seconds because Vigor servers are ass and I would have killed him. So, yeah. And also, damn, when you open a time safe, you're letting somebody know that you're there three different times. Think about it. Button, button, safe is open. Three different times. So, whenever you go for that time safe, you gotta be quick about it. You gotta make sure that each one of those notifications that you send to the lobby are really closely grouped together. In gameplay terms, hit each button as close together as possible because if not all you're saying is I don't know where the second button is at so if you find it before me you may get a chance to kill me that's what you're saying when you don't hit the two buttons within like a second of each other if you can help it okay so I'm near the airdrop now and before I approach it you see what I'm doing right now I'm checking hills I'm checking shadows I'm checking to see if anybody is nearby. And you see I'm like walking in this area, but I'm looking at the hedge groves over there. And I'm also looking at that haystack. That haystack, that rock. This rock right here. That rock right there is famous for people hiding behind it. Famous for it. But you see, I undelivered my payload. And now I'm going to circumnavigate the airdrop because I don't want to be seen on the same level as it. Sea level wise. Let me explain to you the problem with the, with the last second metal. But before I explain the problem with it, let me explain what it is. The last second meta is where you wait until the very last second to do anything important. The very last second. Container, safe, airdrop, you name it. Now here's the problem with it. What if 9 out of 12 players have the exact same idea as you? What if 9 out of 12 players, and the 9 includes you, says i'm gonna wait for this airdrop and do nothing else for this match i'm gonna wait everybody out everybody's gonna leave and i'll be the last one left foolproof plan foolproof plan never fails what if eight other players say that exact same paragraph as, as how i did in your encounter therefore you're setting yourself up to run into eight other people in the very last dying seconds of the match when radiation's already upon y'all. You're not getting anywhere. You're not. And I understand this game is scary. Very much so, especially when he gets shot at and he didn't expect it. Very much so. But at a certain point, you're gonna you're gonna learn to uh actually do stuff in the game. And th this is not an insult. This is me trying to tell you that the maps are as big as they are for a reason. Run. Walk. Loot. Do whatever. But by all means, don't wait for an airdrop. If I didn't kill him, the damn explosion would have. Because he ran 
into radiation and try to open an airdrop covered in radiation to only get an airdrop that has radiation on it. And my bad, booby trap. So he ran it into radiation, held square or X for a good amount of time, then had to try to figure out a code and then leave in the center of the map on Broadway Bridges. And yeah, two threats back to back. It wasn't going to end well for him. And I want to say it didn't end well for everybody in this encounter. Either they left without loot because nobody moved. Or they all got killed. Not by me, but maybe by each other. So, like I said, new players, I hope you learn from this one. Experienced players, I would be surprised if you learned anything from this. Very surprised. I'll be sure to catch you in the next episode. Until next time, peace.